You're right guys, Clinicality here, back today, bringing you another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, we are reviewing the in-form Osvaldo Alonso from Seattle Sounders. On screen, you can see the team that I built him into. For me, the team wasn't brilliant, and I know you guys can definitely build a better team around this guy than I did. And also, when building a team, I would definitely look at putting him at centre defensive mid role instead of the centre mid that I used him in. Because the way he played, he really did suit that CDM role. Player instructions, I didn't change at all. There was absolutely no need to. He was constantly running up and down the pitch in both attack and in defence. Now, as always, we played six games with him. And in those games, we managed to score five goals and three assists. Which, for somebody who always seemed to be there at the back helping out in the defence, is really, really nice for a return. To know that he can both defend for you and get forward, get you goals, get you assists, is really, really nice. 29,000 coins is what I paid for him, which is pretty damn cheap anyway. And he now goes for about 12k on each console. Discard value. So, pretty much all of you can give him a go yourselves. Now onto his base stats, he has 81 pace, 76 dribbling, 65 shooting, 80 defending, 74 passing and 83 physical. In game stats, not too bad at all to be fair, lots of well rounded 80 stats. The 85 stamina and 81 strength are probably standouts for me though. Skill attributes, some pretty disappointing ones in there, only 51 crossing and 52 finishing are not great. However his passing stats and that shot power, 88, really really nice. He is 5 foot 11, he plays CDM or centre mid, right footed, medium high work rates, 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills, and he has the long passer and long shot taker traits. Now as we jump into the clips, I want to start off by talking about those two traits in particular, because they both play a massive part in this guy's card. Firstly, that long passer trait does make his passing really really nice. Not just at long range as well, his short passing is brilliant. And so you can play him in that holding midfielder role, play those long passes like a Perlo type player and find those players out on the wing, up front. You can play brilliant, brilliant passes with this guy. And the other one being his long shot taker trait as well. He only has 67 long shots, but his 88 shot power plus that trait make his long shots really nice to use. And again, for a holding midfielder, sometimes they like to roam forward. Alonso certainly did and when he did he's in that area on the edge of the box and obviously if he can take a long shot that is a massive plus and this guy definitely can. His close range finishing certainly isn't as good and another thing for me that wasn't brilliant is his dribbling only two star skill moves and his basic dribbling wasn't superb either and the same goes for his pace he felt pretty slow especially off the mark which seeing as he had decent acceleration, I didn't think would be too big of a problem. But for me, it definitely didn't feel like it says on the card and it was a bit of a disappointment. However, with all of the negatives out of the way, it brings me onto his best stat, which easily is his defending. This guy's defending is superb. I love this guy's work rates. He is always back helping out the defense. He throws himself in front of everything. He's strong. He can muscle players off the ball. And overall, this guy helped so much in my defence, it was absolutely incredible. So over the games that we played, he picked up an average match rating of 8.3, which is certainly not bad, especially for a player that did spend most of his time in that CDM role. On the pros, we have his long shots, really, really nice, deadly long shots. Same goes for his passing, pinpoint accuracy. His defending was brilliant, and a lot of that is thanks to those medium high work rates. And lastly, his strength was brilliant. He muscled so many players off the ball. And if he ever did lose the ball as well, he used that strength to fight back, win the ball, and then push on and attack. Under cons, we have his dribbling. His basic dribbling and two-star skill moves, as I say, were definitely not very good. He felt very slow off of the mark, hence the reason I have put his acceleration under cons. And lastly, his finishing really wasn't great. Up close, his finishing was pretty damn poor. Overall, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Definitely not a terrible player. And as I say, in the centre defensive mid role, I think he will be really, really good. He works hard. He throws himself in front of everything. And he can take a really nice long shot. He's a decent player. He's definitely not the best you can get. But for his price tag, definitely not a bad in form. And in my opinion, worth a try. As always, if you guys do decide to go and pick him up, let me know down in the comment section how you got on with him. It's always nice to see that. 
Other than that though, if you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, then a like would be much appreciated. And if you are new around here and would like to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's very much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.